Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is June 15th. It is Friday, 2018. Uh, flags are flying here, obviously. Getting moved around, a little bit of a breeze, nothing bad. Very nice day here today at the homestead. Uh, some, somewhat cloudy, you can see some clouds in the sky here. Uh, but a lot of clear sky as well. So not a bad day at all. Um, I don't know if anybody saw this one. I'm going to pull this up so you can see this first flag better. So let me do this. Okay, so this was uh, sent by uh, Patches, sent me this one as well. Uh, so he had sent me the two flags. And so I don't know if you guys saw this the other day because obviously yesterday was also the birth day of the United States Army. 243 years, so um, I wanted to make sure I pointed that out. But uh, so uh, a couple things I want to talk about today. So first of all, uh, I want to talk about Legacy is doing a sale. They are reducing all their meat prices by 30% from now through the 20th. Okay. So if there's uh, any of the meat packages or uh, um, individuals or the six packs of meat that you would be interested in. Uh, they are on sale right now. If you go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com, I've already reduced the prices on there for those products, and they'll be reduced through till midnight on the 30th, or the 20th, I'm sorry, the 20th. And so if you're interested and you wanted to get some of the meat products, now would be definitely the time to do it. 30% is a pretty fantastic discount, okay? So uh, I wanted to say that. So again, the link will be below in the comments section. Or, you know, in the description section. So if you're interested, again, it's PrepperNurse1.com. I have already reduced the prices, so the 30% is reflective in the price right now. So if you go on there and you kick on the beef or the chicken or the combo packs or a six-pack of beef or a six-pack of chicken, uh, you will see that discount is already in there. Okay, so that's the reduced price. So just letting you know if you're interested, uh, now would definitely be a good time to do that because that's a pretty significant discount, okay? So I want to talk about something today, and I'm going to bring this up, and I'm hopefully this person is not going to be upset with me. Um, you guys through the years watching the videos have seen Kendall up here, uh, one of Heather's friends from when we used to live in Greece, New York, okay? And uh, they have been friends since we had moved in, uh, is they were like five years old and they were our neighbors and they've been friends ever since then. Well, I'm going to talk about something and this is something that, and I'm also going to use another example as well, okay, but I'm going to use Kendall to start with, okay. Well, Kendall had a birthmark on her leg that really, really bothered her. It bothered her so much to a point where she would always wear a bandage over that birthmark, okay, and uh, you know, she was very, very self-conscious of it. She thought people were always staring at her because of that birthmark on her leg. And it really, really bothered her. Now, to me, it was not a big deal. Um, you know, I, I used to tell her, I said, Kendall, it's just part of who you are, you know. Um, just like if somebody has blue eyes or brown eyes, it's just part of who they are. But it's something that really, really bothered her. Well, today, she just had um, a cover-up tattoo put on over the top of that. And if you look at that now, you would never know that she had a birthmark on her leg. It's a really pretty tattoo. It came out really, really well. And so we're going to talk about that, that type of thing for a second. I'm going to give you another example real quick before we get into the topic, okay? My ex-wife um, was very, very self-conscious. She's always worn short hair, and her ears kind of stuck out, kind of like this. Not horrible in my opinion. I didn't, did, they didn't bother me at all, obviously. But it was something for her that she was very, very self-conscious of. So it was to a point where it really, really bothered her about her ears that we went ahead and uh, had a surgery done for her, which since it was a cosmetic surgery and it wasn't uh, something that had to be done, um, you know, it was, uh, we had to pay for it ourselves. So we went and we had her ears fixed because it was something that really bothered her. For me, it was like no big deal, but it's something for her that bothered her. We all have something. So this is the point of what I wanted to talk about in this video. We all have something about ourselves that we don't like, okay? And if there's something that you're able to do to correct that, to make yourself feel better, 
Um, I think that you should absolutely do that because if it's something that really, really bothers you and you want to get it fixed and you want to feel better about yourself, if it's going to do something that's going to make you feel better about yourself, I think you should absolutely do it, okay? Now, Kendall is 16 years old, okay? But this is something that has bothered her forever, and I'm sure she had to get her parents' permission to get the tattoo, obviously, at that age. But, uh, you know, it was something that was very, very self-conscious for her. And, uh, and I, like I said, I totally get that, and I totally support that. And had she been my child, I would have absolutely let her do that as well, you know, because that was something that bothered her. And so when there's something about somebody that uh, is bothering them, you know, uh, be it their teeth, uh, you know, something like with their ears. Um, I actually had a cousin that also, his ears stuck out way, way out, really, really bad, where uh, he was called Dumbo and everything else because of his ears as we were growing up. And again, around the age of 16, he had a surgery to cut those tendons behind the ears to bring the ears flatter to his head. And it was, you know, it was something that, you know, for the most of us would go, well, big deal, who cares? But it was something that really, really, truly bothered him. So, like I said, again, it's something that I, I believe that if, it, if it's something that's going to make you feel better and make you feel more confident about yourself, I absolutely think that you should do something like that. You know, uh, it, it's just, you know, if you want to get liposuction, if you want to get your stomach stapled, you know, because you're too heavy and you want to do something about it, I absolutely support that. I think that it's something that, you know, we should... If it's going to do something to make us feel better about ourselves, I think that it's important that we should do that. Uh, you know, too many people are going to be all full of judgment and say, oh, you know, you have to leave it the way it is and da-da-da-da-da. But if it's something that really bothers you individually, then and you can do something about it, you know. Uh, I mean, if you're four inches too short and you wish you were taller, there's not really much you can do about that other than wearing really high shoes. <laughs> So, but the thing is, I mean, if there's something that you can fix about yourself that's going to give you more self-confidence and make you feel better about yourself, I say absolutely go for it. I mean, you look at the number of women out there that get breast augmentations, okay? You know, a lot of them do it because they want to be more self-confident. And I completely support that 100%. Uh, you know, if, if that's what you want to do to make yourself feel better, I think you should absolutely do that. And... Uh, that's important and um, you know it, it, it's just like with anything you know uh, you know we all have things guys that uh, that bother us all of us do and uh, you know we need to be more supportive of each other I believe uh, we have too many people are so critical and judgmental and uh, want to bring other other people down and because they feel horrible about themselves and and that's very very sad unfortunately uh, it happens a lot in our society. You know, people will look at somebody that isn't perfect in their eyes or has something different about them, and they're going to, you know, make fun and judge. And I mean, it happens all the time in high schools. You know, you get your odd, quirky kids, and and people will make fun of them and, and, and those type of things. And I think a lot of kids go through that, unfortunately, you know. Uh, I've seen some, some girls that, and, you know, you look back when they were younger, and they were called the ugly duckling, basically, and then they grow up and they turn into these absolutely gorgeous, beautiful women. But the problem is, a lot of that self-consciousness is still there in them. No matter how gorgeous they are, and no matter how many times people tell them that they're gorgeous, they're still going to have that negative feelings about themselves, those insecurities about themselves. So, again, if, if somebody can do something that makes them feel more confident, makes them feel better about themselves, uh, I have an overbite. And I was actually going to, at one point, have a surgery to bring my jaw more to a point where my teeth actually met. My teeth don't meet uh, when I bite down. And so it's, uh, but I was going to have that done, oh, prob I was probably 17, 18 years old. And I just never did, um, you know, because I just, I got to a point I don't care. <laughs> you know, I'm just, just like, I don't care. And, you know, and now at 53, I really don't care. So, I mean, I've gone through this far in life without having that taken care of. But it wasn't anything that bothered me, you know. Um, it, uh, you know, my mom wanted to have it done so because she thought that it was something that would, you know, look better or whatever, you know. And I just, like, 
I just really didn't care. It just wasn't one of those things where I was like, yeah, you know, I need to do this. I just never did. I just, I mean, I wore braces for three years when I was younger. There's another thing. There's another cosmetic thing that we do to make ourselves look better. Uh, you know, to straighten my teeth out and actually pulled my teeth back. Uh, one of the things, you know, it's, uh, and that was something that bothered me. And so I did, I did wear braces for three years. And uh, so that was a good thing. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that happen. I mean, you know, I, I, I truly believe that if there's something that is not quite right with you, that's bothering you, and you can fix it, then do so. Um, regardless of what anybody else thinks, regardless that somebody says, oh, well, that doesn't bother me, I, I like it the way it is, or whatever. If it's going to make you feel better, do it. And uh, that's kind of just what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, it was something that I was thinking about, and and uh, I think it's kind of important. You know, if, uh, if you got something that you don't care about yourself, and you can fix it, I absolutely support anybody that uh, can do something to make themselves feel and look better. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to kick this around here so you can see. we got the sun kicking here really, really good over here. But uh, we had a good day solar-wise. Kind of cloudy, or cover, you know, they're covered over a little bit now. But the sun's still out there pretty decent. But yeah, we just keep rocking along here. Um, the kids have gone to their moms for the weekend. And uh, mom went back to my sister's for about a week, and then she's going to come back. So, but uh, just a low-key kind of day. Uh, you know, so now it's quiet. It's very, very quiet. So <laughs> I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. Uh, and remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. Nobody else can do that, okay? Everybody have a great day, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.